GTA e-bike garage growing as y'all say <laughs> uh, but in this video we are covering the food care Gemini X electric bicycle this is actually the latest 2.0 version of food cares Gemini brand with some tweaks and improvements made from the first this e-bike has been a brother's recent ride around town and it has a lot of next-gen goodies and features about it so let's dive straight into it the body of the Food Care Gemini X has a solid and unique frame to it from most other e-bikes. Coming in graphite gray or pearly white color, this e-bike's aluminum frame is almost X-shaped around the body that sort of gives it an aggressive, sharp look. The 20 by 4 inch puncture resistant fat tires have been upgraded to all purpose, all terrain tires on this version for on or off road use with a great tread to provide grip on the road while riding. The 750 watt hub motor has a peak wattage of 1000 watts and 80 newton meters of torque that can achieve a max speed of 31 miles per hour while riding. When I first rode it out the box though, it's like it didn't want to stay at that speed for nothing. Like <laughs> most class three e-bikes come shit being limited at 28 miles per hour by law but you can unlock them to go faster so i go into the settings to unlock this one and for the first few days it will hit 30 for like a second and it will go straight back down to like 27 or 28 i could not figure it out for the life of me i know what it was after a few rides it doesn't do that no more though so uh yeah we get <laughs> I love, love, love the display on this thing, man. Probably my favorite display I have on any of my e-bikes yet. The Shimano 7-speed chain is provided, of course. Fork suspension in the front, but no rear suspension. Kind of a bummer, but the rod takes bumps with confidence. This is actually also my first e-bike that has a thumb throttle, too, instead of the twist throttle, which I do prefer more, but the thumb throttle on this is nice and responsive to the touch. Along with that are great grippy handlebars, a nice and adjustable stock seat for your cheeks, a nice rear bicycle rack, and a nice pedal assist control pad are all provided. The 180mm hydraulic disc brakes also give you great stopping power when you need to slow down or avoid everyday NPCs. This bike is also pretty hefty at a little over 80 pounds, but the 400 pound payload capacity makes up for all that. Seriously, I don't think I've seen an e-bike being able to hold that much weight. Okay, Fukai, I see y'all. They have a bunch of accessories and other things you can upgrade and put on the bike with all these mounts provided all over the bike. Y'all wanna know what I love about this bike the most though? And this is why low, low key is starting to become my favorite one out of the three that I now own. This thick baby has dual batteries. None of my other e-bikes have had this. Now granted, I could have bought an extra one for like 600 plus dollars, but ain't nobody got time for that. So this is the first one that I have owned that have actually came with two batteries. You always hear about them if you're into the world of e-bikes, dual batteries and all this stuff, but until you actually have your own, yeah, you don't really know what you're missing out on. <laughs> you really don't. It's definitely worth the hype. So each battery is a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery, giving you a total of 30 amp hours. The range I can go on this bike just surpasses how far I was able to go on my first two. Based on how aggressively you use the bike and if you're using the pedal assist mode, you can go anywhere from 60 to 140 miles out before you need to charge it back up. Damn! 
this is from when i was out riding one day and one of my batteries was starting to lose juice and eventually cut off i was stranded finished a mere nothing in the world left to the vultures to be picked over only i forgot this time was different i was able to turn that first battery off my brothers and sisters switch on the second one and oh shit like <laughs> I was out of there before them vultures started picking me over <laughs> <laughs> and with another full battery charge. <laughs> Seriously though, that's that's just amazing to me to have on an e-bike and you essentially get double the use out of it before you have to charge. I got to give it to the beautiful suckers over at Food Care for providing all of that on one bike. Each battery can be removed like so with the keys provided and locked onto the frame. Each battery takes four to six hours to charge fully with the chargers provided. They include everything with this bike too, man. Chargers, a nice little lock, a tool kit, touch up paint for scratches. This should be mandatory to have in a box for every e-bike company. I cannot stress this enough. I do, however, have two gripes with this bike. Only two, no bike is perfect, right? Uh, this bell. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Man, who gonna hear that? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I can understand if you go in 10 miles per hour or something, but if you're going 30 plus miles per hour, you need a lot more than this bell out of a cereal box to notify, you know, to notify someone of your presence. I guess if you on the sidewalk going slow, you can get by, but with all the stuff this bike comes with, why go cheap by not having an actual horn? It, it, it just didn't make no sense to me. So that and the other thing is the headlight. Man, this junk ain't doing nothing though. <laughs> <laughs> this headlight ain't doing nothing. I mean, I guess it does a little something something close up if you out at night, but you are definitely gonna wanna upgrade the light on this. They have a bigger headlight to buy on the site if you want, so that just tells me they know this headlight's some trash. The light on the back is definitely better though. Outside of those two things, man, this might be no this is the best valued e-bike i have reviewed on this channel so far my brothers and sisters with all you get on this bike this junk should easily run you two thousand plus dollars with the two batteries alone this price for a dual battery e-bike is not a common occurrence <laughs> like at all trust me this is a rare thing and it's been sitting pretty at this price for a little minute now too over the summertime so yeah that is some true next generation value phil spencer could never so yeah man uh this electric bicycle if you didn't know after all that that i just said it's a beast uh, <laughs> it is a beast it's a great great e-bike to have if you want to get into the world of e-bikes some of y'all have been telling me gamer bro you kind of making me want an e-bike my brother <laughs> well son what the frick is you waiting for <laughs> get one you know uh but nah these things are are fun man so glad i got into this hobby when i did and their fun is all heck to use the food care gemini x gets two solid thumbs up from a brother very nice value e-bike um but yeah i'm finna head out y'all boys got any questions or comments you know y'all cuties can ask me till then hope you guys are doing good hope you guys are staying safe till my next video my brothers and sisters i'll catch y'all boys in my next one all right